Cheers ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Untold Stories. Now this game is different, it's a little bit different to the games that I used to play, mainly because this is not an action game, this is not a horror, well, horror game, this is more like a... I would classify it as point and click I think, I don't know, I, I, do, not, I do not know much about this game, I investigated it a little bit, I liked it, Apparently the game is separated in these four episodes, each episode is its own story. So each episode is a different theme and everything is, you know, ambientated on the 80s, maybe, or 70s, 80s, I don't know. It's ambientated to just like Stranger Things and I love Stranger Things. So I, I decided to give this game a try and let's see what comes of it. Sometimes you may need to... Uh, but oh, okay. Goosebumps. <laughs> okay, now that's a fucking introduction. The graphics are nice, like look. Ow! Anyways, the graphics look very nice so far. If you could stop. And we'll start off very good, having my ears bleeding. That hurt. You pull up to the driveway of two of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's such Id idyllic as to remember from all the times ago. You remember being told to look into the glove box to be heard going in. It's good to be back. Oh wait! Ooh, this is all like this is like one of those text-based adventures. I never played those. Those were those are very old. Made for the DOS. Um, look around. It's nice, a uh, clean car. Not much to see, but it's a, there is a glove box. Look, glove box. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. Inside there's a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. And look later. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the, the generator around back to get the power and lights on, blah blah blah. Also found something in the attic for you. It's on your room. Enjoy. Alright then. So, I already read this, okay, get out, get out car, you open the car door and step out, the house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees, in front of you there is a front door, and the church stretches around the side of the house, look around, the trees stretch up to the night sky, there, oh it's night, there's the house and the yard. Punch being them in the dick. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm okay, of course. Uh, walk around. So, uh, yeah. Go inside the fucking house. There is appears to be locked. You need to. You insert the key and turn on the door locks open. Click. Okay. Enter the house. Okay. 
You step inside the front door. You enter the house through the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel the light switch on the left. It's not gonna work because I need to open the- Where the fuck is the generator? Go outside. Step outside from the front door. The house is gone, tap in the game of trees, from the front door. Go around... The yard. Hey, it worked! The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holidays. Good memories. Go around. You see a generator? Aha! Go... To generator. Stupid. You're standing next to a generator. Turn on? Turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Of course. And go to house. You want power on the front of the house. Enter the fucking house. Yeah, 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 really. Oops. Hang on. Light! I'm sorry. Turn on. Oh, in front of you is the front. Ha! It's in the glory house, me. It's in a <laughs> I love how it works. <laughs> it's so be like, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. You enter the house and then wait, okay. Turn on the lights. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Okay, there's the hallway, now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen, living room. Go living room. You stay inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of good times in here playing board games with the family, warm and inviting. Look around. There is nothing here to interest. Okay, go to the kitchen then. Go kitchen. Okay, go back. You go back out the hallway. Okay. It's now brightly lit. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Go kitchen. Let's see if I can grab it. Walk into the kitchen. Wait, my house has been abandoned? Or is there actually people inside? The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a video. Sorry, my, my phone. Door to utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Look around. It's very clean and tidy, not been used in a while. Go to utility room. Utility room door is locked, you have no idea where the key will be. Okay, go back. Back in the hallway. There's access to the kitchen. I oh, already read this. Onwards! Go upstairs! Let's go to my room. Let's see all the fucking old magazines of Playboy we had. The stairway is landing, there is a bathroom and two bedrooms, you and yours, yours and your sister. Pictures on the walls, images of happy times. Go to the bathroom. Stay inside the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note. It's all good order. Take a piece. To the number two. Okay. Just in case, look around. The bathroom is clean, a large mirror sits above the sink. Look at the mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Okay, go back. I actually love the sound effects. Alright, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, uh, go to sister's room. Wink. You walk into your sister's little room. Oh god. Your sister's room is in a perfect condition. Untouched since the last time you had seen her. 
posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at that time. Adorn the walls, a few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drawn under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Play with toys. So, go around. As always, there is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. The door since since it's, a, since it's said old house or horror house or whatever. A horror story. I do believe if I open that wardrobe, I'm gonna get eaten by Aslan. Let's go. Probably for the using the wardrobe. Okay. The same P apart from a pile of scatter photograph on the bottom. Look photographs. They're all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. No, take photographs. They're all identical, I'll forget it, you put them back. I said take! Ah, whatever. Go back. Stay where it's landing, ba 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 Oh, in my house, oh, in my house. Go to my room. Play some Super Nintendo. I miss my Super Nintendo, I miss playing Castlevania 4. Super Castlevania 4. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in, a, in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. First, let's look at it. It's a standard bedroom, a desk, wood grain TV, the usual. <laughs> of course, it didn't work. Okay. Check the gift, yo. Oh, fuck. Check the oh, fuck. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> Look at that tank gift. A large gift wrap present the way that the tag says your name. Ooh. Open it. Open the gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. That has found your old computer. A future... Uh, <coughs> sorry. A future 100... It's being preserved well in the attic and hopefully it still works. Your old bedroom. So many good memories. Blah, 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 blah. On your desk is a future 128k plus 2. One plus two. Computer. And a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up. Oh. Set up. Easy. Set, set up. Computer. You start to plug in various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Look at the game. A new horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. Ace? Who says ace? I'm gonna say ace now. Put on the ace game. Fuck. Put on game. Install the game? Question mark. Install the fucking game. I see what, what I'm doing. Turn on computer. Fuck! Look at the game. Oh. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer. Cassette? How old is this shit?
You pull up the driveway of the family holy home and park the car. It's a dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glow box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Oh, is that what we're doing here? Oh god. Open glow box. Inside there's a key and a handwritten note from that. You take both. Read letter. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the car. I don't like this. You pull up the driveway and find me. It's clearly neglected. You, yeah, yeah. Get, get out of the car. You force a warm car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creek creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Around. The lights are off, windows are broken, there's no front door and a jar. Go front door. I'm sorry, go to the house. You don't go. Walk in the jar. I'm sorry, walk jar. Go house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Oh, go inside the house. We're looking to you. Okay. Pitch black. But your senses are pun. Punish more to be by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The knot burns your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over again. It's too dark to read. It feels weird to touch. What? Sorry. Turn on the lights. There's no power to the lights. The generator must be off. Then go. Fucking outside! You go back outside, coward! <laughs> the house looks abandoned, there is a yard in the side. Go, we Go to the yard. Stay through the debris to the back of the yard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, you need to look around. Look around then. Lobby key. There is an old generator next to you. Go generator, go go generator. You are standing. Turn on the generator. Oh god. Hey, I saw those pictures. You can't bullshit me. This game is fucking with me. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go to the house. You go back to the front of the house. Go inside. You're literally step aside from the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more. Uh, I really like this. Turn on the lights! Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. Light flickers on and off, and the walls are falling apart. After years of neglect or war wars, <laughs> there's the sound of an alarm clock and blaring in someone else in, the, in this house. That can be. Stop! 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 Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Look fucking around! You can see it around, but you can barely think with that noise. Stop alarm. Yeah. 
You're still in the hallway, the noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room, as you said, and stairs leading up. The note feels free feels disgusting in your hands. Note. Read the note. It's bleeding. Wait, 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 wait. Go to the kitchen, let's see what disgusting shit we are gonna see there. Go into the kitchen! The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted, metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing in the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Look. Out of the wall. Fuck's sake, stop it! The blue. Implode the number one. Have you actually seen this near across the wall? Memory, see? I know. Utility. T. I had a mental fuck, sorry. Utility room. There seems to be writing on the wall in the what looks like blood. Look at X. Just just go back. Go to living room. In case no one has noticed. There it is! Look at that! 1986! The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and warm. The note is fixed in your inner mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look at the note, just in case. The note, always changing. Now reads, get through this. I don't care if you want or not. The living room, all decrepit, all dead. Let's look around, shall we? Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reasons. See the sofa! Okay, go back. You return to the hallway. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped. You feel a presence. Oh, yeah. Okay, go upstairs. Up. You head upstairs. They creak. No, no, no. Just, just. And same one different. Int. The. No, what? What? Behind the door phone, it starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can you. Pick a phone. Him answer the phone, your mind hurts and your taste iron. Voice spill out of the phone into a room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. You can see the worst. Hang up. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. Something's different about them. Look at the picture. The pictures are of your family, the eyes have been scored out on all. No sisters. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can bear this. Wreck that shit! Okay. Unboard sisters room, I guess. Sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Go bathroom. It's always a nice time to take a poop. The, ba the bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Leak. Leak. Grime. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look around. 
The broken mirror hangs above the drifty scene. Taps rusted in position. Cut. Look at the mirror. You can't bear that look at yourself. Look at the sink. It's disgusting. Crime and dead box. The top won't budge. Look. Toilet? A broken mirror ha I said look toilet. Go back. You step back into the landing. Same but different. Eat. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room. Bolted shot with a four digit combined lock. Oh, boy. Go to your room. Okay, let's see. The door is bolted shot with a four digit combination lock. Unlock. Grab the locks. The lock is rusted, not using years. The key is in your hand, weights heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and cannot input the number code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same but different. Open your room. You open the bathroom door. No! That's. Enter room. I'm not sure which room you would like to go. Enter my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lab is on. The clock reads 1999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the not stop it. I can hear breathing! Look around. You see me sitting there, helpless. Your edge closer. Punch myself. <laughs> okay. Walk to me. Talk to me. Look at the person. Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. to the person you struggle out a hello everything you said is I see everything you are I am I feel hopeless your grip on the note tightens further percentage will continue the bedroom feels utterly familiar the walls are damp but you've been here before in front of you a lone person sits in front of you a computer screen look at the note I'm sorry Jennifer, I'm sorry mom, I'm sorry dad, you haunt me every step I take, even in this place. I was out of my hand, but still you punish me, I can't be with you now. There's nothing left to do, I'm consumed, I'm consumed, this had to end now. Ain't it? You're pathetic. It was all your fault, Sid. No. Oh, please stop. No. It was all my fault, Sid. No, you. Just Sid. Mom. Okay. Ha! <laughs> gotcha! Okay. It's my fault. My fault. Fault. 
plus 8. It's your fault. You see it. My fault. It's my fault. All right, thank you. Oh, finally. Yeah, me too, about goddamn time. Wait, what's that read? God damn it. Well, that was quite short. Damn, that was good. I have goosebumps. Jesus Christ. Now that's how you make a good game. It's no jump scares, no anything. Even though there was a couple of jump scares, but I'll let it pass. But it's about the atmosphere. That's what makes a good game, a good horror game. Well, I don't want to make this long, so I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys like it, please let me know. Uh, uh, I'll probably continue this because I love this game already. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, accordingly to my friend Jojo, she said that. There's like each chapter plays differently. I don't know if there, if I already said this, but anyways, each chapter plays differently. So I cannot wait to see what all the other chapters have to offer. Uh, I am really excited to see how this ends and how this eventually cramps up, because I'm pretty sure that this it says four stories, one nightmare. They have to be connected somehow, even though they're different stories. But anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you liked the video please hit that like button, leave a comment and share the video if you wish so, and of course I'll see you next episode, bye bye!